This was very much a government rally organized by the mayor's office in Addis Ababa. But thousands of people turned up at Mescal Square carrying placards that express their anger at Tigray's TPLF leadership and its forces that many here refer to as Junta and support of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's government and its federal army. For a long time, TPLF has brought division on the people, so we have to begin to forget about them, forget about the past, and be united behind and be united behind a defense force. This government has a lot of moral support. They need to take strong action against the junta that steals. Those who addressed the crowd had this to say. A few international media witnessed the juntas using children for war. They witnessed this but did not report it, and that shows their interest. It shows who they are. Above all, the intent is to support the juntas as they see Ethiopia bleed. Federal troops have withdrawn from Tigray, but the soldiers, Eritrean troops, and special forces from neighboring Amhara region have been accused by rights groups of committing crimes against civilians, including killings and rape. Those who came to this rally say they fully support the government in the ongoing Tigray conflict. But the situation there is dire. Fighting is still going on in some parts, drawing in security forces from other regions that were not previously involved in the fighting and the UN and other aid agencies saying that they're struggling to get to the most vulnerable people in that region. There has been recent fighting between federal troops and regional forces from Oromia against Tigrayan fighters in areas bordering Tigray and Afar region. A World Food Program aid convoy was attacked on Sunday on the only remaining ground humanitarian corridor into Tigray. This is devastating to millions of people who desperately need help. Shortages of fuel and cash, as well as communications blackouts, are significantly hindering the resumption of the humanitarian response and preventing its scale-up. NGOs and UN agencies are running out of cash and are unable to pay staff or suppliers. Unless fuel, cash, supplies, and aid workers are able to enter Tigray in the coming days, some humanitarian programs will not be able to function. These are dangerous times in Ethiopia, and all fighting sides are trying to control the narrative. Media access into Tigray is limited because of multiple national government and regional special forces checkpoints along the road and an airspace only open for humanitarian flights. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa.